So welcome back. So our understanding should be MTM is part of wider data strategy. You can run a business without a data strategy. However, most business thrive only when they adopt a systematic approach to collecting, storing, analyzing, and managing their data. So a successful data strategy links business strategy and technology solutions. So if you see a data environment in any organization, you can see there is an alignment between business strategy and data strategy. Then there is a data governance, which is managing the people, process, policy, and culture. Then there is leveraging and managing data for strategic advantages, whereby we have the master data management, data warehousing, business intelligence, big data analytics, data quality, data architecture and modeling. Then coordinating and integrating the spread data sources where we have the data asset planning and inventory, data integration, metadata management. Then we have management and inventory of data sources, databases, big data, unstructured and semi-structured and document and content management. Within these, we can find manage, master data management is a part of the data strategy. It doesn't stand alone. So MTM reference architecture, it looks very colorful. So MTM reference architecture is a vendor neutral, product agnostic reference architecture that supports multiple methods of MDM use and multiple architecture styles. It aims to define the key architecture building blocks that will enable an organization to govern and maintain accurate master data for all users and applications. So governing and maintaining accurate master data for all users and applications. You know, MDM looks very colorful. So we have various building blocks. So coming data is coming from external sources. Data comes from internal applications. Then there is an in information integration component where we have the ETL, data integrity, data visualization. Then there is a multi-step mass data management. We have a lot of things like data services, hierarchy and internship and management, lifestyle management, foundation services, authorization, master data event management, data quality management. Then survivorship data and uh, stewardship. So this master data management constitutes of multiple steps, right? And you know, we have a master data repository. So this is a vendor neutral. It is a product agnostic reference architecture. When implementing an MDM system, one of the key decision to be made is the choice of MDM hub architecture. So we are going to see various hub architecture. So Gardner and the other describe different stands of MDM hub. And the choice depends on multiple considerations, such as your time and budget available. Then read or write, read write capability on master data. Then data consistency, data fragmentation. So these are some of the choice which will decide the style of master data management hub. So there are majorly two types of MDM hub. One is registry model and other is transactional model. So number one and two. So in the transactional we have different styles, but in registry we have only just one style. Let's look into the details of registry and transactional MDM hub. Let me focus on the registry hub. So we have authoring, we have MDM, we have different systems, right? Internal or external systems, CRM, ESP API, data warehouse, then DQ steward. So how the registry style manage MDM? That is the first question. So MDM system implemented using registry style provides a readable view of the master data for downstream. The first point is the registry style gives only a readable view. Okay. Then in registry style, MDM hub stores only a 
thin slice of MDM data. Second, just a thin slice. That means the entire data is not stored in the MDM hub. So in the thin slice, what happen, What contains is source system identifiers, foreign key identifiers, key attributes needed for matching. Majorly, three components. One is system identifiers, foreign keys, then key attributes needed for match. Other data attributes that make up the master data identity are spread across multiple business systems. So as I said, we have the CRM, we have ESB, we have data warehouse. This MDM holds only the index, only the index, only the index. Okay, only data required for making the cross reference. So the hub is responsible for cleansing and deduplicating the master data entity and maintaining a reference to source master data attribute that it does not manage from the other business systems. So that is the registry model. So there are some advantages. One is this architecture style is a low time and cost required to implement an MDM solution as well as the reduced impact on the source data systems. The key disadvantage is performance. The time required for the registry hub to aggregate data from multiple source system and provide a complete master data record is a big challenge for the registry system. Yes, as we know the second style it is transaction style. Under transaction style we have three types. What are those? Coexistence, hybrid or centralized. Okay. Coexistence, centralized and hybrid. So MDM systems implemented using transactional style enable read-write operations on the master data. How was it in registry? Registry was only just a read-only. But in transactional, it is read and write. Read or write. In this architecture style, the hub stores and manages all attributes that define the master data entity. But in registry, we could see that there is only few attributes which are required for identifying the right zones. That's only uh, stored in the index in the in the in the registry. But the hub is uh, but in in the transactional, the hub is regarded as a single authoritative source of master data. Let's look into them each one. So we have coexistence. We have centralized and we have hybrid or consolidation, right? So let me start with coexistence. What do you understand by coexistence? Coexistence. The master data entities coexist in both the hub and the source system with a two-way signalization between the two. Master data entities can be created or updated either in the hub or the source system. So basically, you can update or create entities in either of either in the hub or in the source systems the mdm hub standardizes cleanses enriches and deduplicate the master data and pushes the data back to the source system to rationalize the master data they hold so well, very important is that you no know, this mdm system is managing cleanliness enrichment and deduplication of the master data. Then, centralized. As the name suggests, master data entity is stored and managed solely within the MDM hub. The creation and updation of master data entity is only done via MDM system. Source systems interact with the MDM system when they require master data records. Yeah, it is a centralized way of doing Every entity will be created and added to the MDM and whenever the source systems or the downstream system require master data, they can come and get it from the MDM. Again, unlike the coexistence, there is no two-way approach, it's only one-way approach. Got it? Or the MDM is created at the tender location. So you can think about uh, uh, the challenges when we have big organization, if you put everything in a central location, what could be the challenge? So you can come up with uh, the challenges from for a centralized option. Then coming to a hybrid option. 
what about the hybrid option this is the gordy locks or hybrid architecture style here the hub does not store all attributes that define the master data as in the transaction style but stores more than the this style the main aim of the hybrid is to resolve performance issues faced by the registry style when it is a hybrid or consolidation this is storing more than what we found in the registry to avoid the performance or delays you know see uh, one challenge which we found with the registry was so consolidating data from various business systems into single record is time consuming that's going to take time the performance degradation so in order to improve that this hybrid game and hybrid stores more than that is in the registry style so remember we have registry style coexistence centralized and consolidation so which is to be chosen is to be decided with your stakeholders and realizing the advantages and disadvantages of each thing as a reference so if you are thinking about how an azure data warehouse looks with the mdm module you can look at here so you can see that no the the azure the data warehouse is built using azure synapse and the data sources is configured from multiple sources and you know there is a transient storage like data lake storage then you know all the candidates uh, for master data will be handled using a data management tool and the master data is prepared and stored then you could see that the all the transactional or structured data goes through in azure data factory orchestration and goes to the azure synapse analytics so here we can see a combination of master data and the transactional data and integral data then the bi tools like power bi or azure machine learning will consume the data analytical data and finally the business users will be consuming the insight from the specialization so this is a simple example how we can integrate a uh, master data management module within our data warehouse so this is going to give you a connection as i said manage master data management is a is a part of the data strategy it is not in uh, not an individual component in itself and if you would like to learn further on this mdm architecture how mdm architecture is implemented using mdm tools maybe this is one architectural diagram which i could get from internet which the informatica has configured so if can identify uh, the sources ETL layer and you know the MDM mm. MDM parties and the uh, steps activities then how how MD master data management managed for hierarchical data then matching then cleansing and standardizing and finally you come to have an MDM database so this is again um said with the analytical systems or reporting systems and it begins this consumption layer and so this is the uh, symbol uh, understanding about how mdm tool work 